Henry has dealt with weight problems his entire life, and none of the weight loss fads he's tried have worked. When he gets an email to become one of the first people to undergo a radical body sculpting treatment, he's intrigued. However, the miracle cure to all his problems might be too good to be true. A commercial for Skin Deep by Sloan plays in the lobby of the treatment clinic. The Skin Deep treatment promises instant weight loss solutions for those that wish to shed off their excess pounds, with no dieting or exercise needed to guarantee success. One Skin Deep success story is Debbie, who went from being overweight to achieving her dream body in three days, following a single treatment. She's now an ambassador of the brand and helping others who used to be like her decide to change their lives. The Skin Deep procedure involves a natural and painless process, and is touted as the most significant scientific breakthrough in body management history. Dr. Herbert Sloan, the CEO and brains behind this revolutionary procedure, promises his clients the perfect body they deserve. In the lobby, Henry Quayle stares dumbfounded at the screen after watching the commercial as he holds a candy bar. Suddenly, Debbie approaches him, and he's starstruck, having just seen her transformation in the commercial seconds ago. Debbie asks how she may help him, and Henry says he received an email from the company. She checks and finds his name on her list, so she thanks him for being a loyal consumer of Dr. Sloan's many previous weight loss products. This makes him a perfect candidate to be presented with the new treatment. She leads him to a couch to wait for Dr. Sloan, and Henry sees an overweight man get escorted by a nurse to the treatment room. On the other end of the couch sits Kelly, an overweight woman, reading a newspaper with a headline showing a solar eclipse event happening within the week. Henry strikes up a conversation with Kelly, who says that all she wants is to look just like Debbie. Seconds later, Dr. Sloan introduces himself to the potential clients and asks them to stand in front of a wall. Before the doctor starts his presentation, the potential clients see the man, who was escorted to the treatment room minutes ago, walk past them, only a few hundred pounds lighter than when he went in. They stare at his metamorphosis in awe and disbelief. Moments later, Debbie brings in trays full of donuts, and the doctor offers his guest the pastries. Kelly points out that they've come here to lose weight and not to gain any more, and Dr. Sloan says that after they sign waivers to undergo the procedure, they'll never have to diet again. Kelly declines the donut and reserves her judgment until after the presentation. Meanwhile, Henry grabs a donut, and the other people give him critical looks. Shortly after, Dr. Sloan continues with his presentation and claims their treatment has an unprecedented 100% success rate. Suddenly, the blind on the wall lifts, revealing a large water tank. Inside the murky water of the tank, they can see swimming creatures but are unsure of what they are. Henry looks closer until his face is inches away from the glass. Then, one of the organisms opens its mouth and sticks to the glass, surprising him and the other clients. Shocked, Henry asks Dr. Sloan what the creatures are, and he explains his team discovered 10 specimens of the animal in South America. The large female anguilliform of the species were trapped in the water reservoir, unable to complete their breeding migration, which is why there are so few left. Dr. Sloan's team's research showed that the animals are an advanced form of a leech, but instead of feeding on blood, these leeches feed on fat. They attach to the skin and secrete a numbing liquid, so the patient feels no pain. Then their saliva liquefies and absorbs any excess adipose stored in the fat cells. He assures them that nothing else from the body is removed, only the fat. When the doctor finishes his presentation, everyone, except Henry, takes out their cards and money and are eager to get the treatment. Debbie escorts the willing participants into a different room while Henry stays with Dr. Sloan. Skeptical of the procedure, Henry says he doesn't want those creatures anywhere near his body, and the doctor shows him a picture of himself when he was overweight. He tells Henry that the treatment is FDA approved, and they've gone through countless scientific trials. He's invested all of his money in this business, and says he would never do that if he wasn't confident that the treatment was safe. Henry is wary of the creatures never being discovered by anyone until now, and Dr. Sloan says they've tried looking for more but could only find 10 of them. The procedure weirds out Henry, and he no longer wishes to undergo it before he grabs another donut and leaves. Two weeks later, Henry eats a burrito next to a food truck. He watches fit young men sit with their girlfriends or grab a snack at the food truck with their friends while having big smiles on their faces. All of a sudden, Kelly takes a seat at Henry's table, and he's shocked at her new slender appearance. He asks her if she underwent the procedure with the leeches, and she says it was painless, just like Dr. Sloan promised. She's also been asked to be a spokesmodel for the company and is helping introduce it tomorrow on the morning show AM America. Kelly then asks Henry if he'd like to be the volunteer on the show tomorrow before she leaves, leaving him to contemplate her offer. The next day at the TV station, Debbie walks Henry to the set and points out the station owner who got the treatment. Half of the crew signed up when they saw his changes. The show starts and the news anchors, Randy and Susie, are at the table, introducing the show's segments for the day. Dr. Sloan is there to present his revolutionary body sculpting technique, 
which is about to be made available to the public in four days. Before introducing the Doctor, the hosts mentioned that the once-in-a-lifetime solar eclipse is also happening that morning, and they talk to Jim. He's reporting live from the Horlicks Observatory and tells the audience that the eclipse will last around 160 seconds and be seen across the entire United States. Then, Susie asks the science expert if there's anything to worry about during the eclipse. Jim says pet owners might want to watch their pets because they can get agitated during an eclipse. Randy asks him why this could be, and he explains that animals' behaviors can become abnormal when an increased magnetic field flows, such as during an eclipse of this magnitude. Susie then introduces Dr. Sloan, and Randy says the doctor will be performing the miracle procedure in the studio in only a few minutes. At the other side of the studio stage, Henry sits on top of a table and feels quite nervous as the show takes a short commercial break. He confides in Kelly his history of taking diet supplements and fat burners to no avail. But now, after the animal absorbs his fat, all his problems will be gone, and he could even have a dating life. Kelly confirms that since her weight loss, she's been swatting away suitors like flies. He thinks this is his opportunity, and just as he's about to ask her out on a date, she quickly excuses herself from the conversation and steps away. A few seconds before the show returns to the air, Dr. Sloan stands beside the table where Henry sits, and a small covered tank is in front of him. Henry tells the doctor that he shouldn't have doubted him, and Dr. Sloan says that's all water under the bridge. When the show starts, it returns to Jim at the observatory, and he's now wearing protective glasses and notes that it's begun to get darker outside. Suddenly, Jim's stomach crumbles as he gets a pained look on his face. He waves off the pain and jokes that his stomach is simply fighting off last night's lasagna. Back in the studio, the hosts walk over to Dr. Sloan and begin his segment but the doctor also feels a grumble in his stomach. Seconds later, the doctor removes the cloth covering the glass tank and shows the viewers at home the wonder worm. He equates the creature's importance to the ecosystem to that of bats and bees, and calls it one of nature's miracles. Henry asks the doctor if the creature is always that active as the leech squirms inside the glass tank, and he answers that it probably just wants its breakfast. Meanwhile, Kelly holds the side of her head as though she has a headache. She lets out a pain to gasp and covers her left eye with her hand. The hosts switch the broadcast back onto Jim, and the area around him is getting dimmer the nearer the eclipse reaches totality. His stomach continues growling as he fights back the urge to acknowledge the discomfort. In the studio, Kelly asks Henry to look at her eye, and he sees a small worm swimming around inside her eyeball. At the observatory, Jim doubles over from the pain in his stomach and falls to his knees. Meanwhile, a small leech bursts through Kelly's pupil, and Henry screams in horror. The hosts watch the live feed as Jim's head explodes, and he falls lifelessly to the ground. Next to Henry, Kelly whimpers for him to help her, but all he can do is watch as blood and baby leeches spill out from her eye socket. Everyone panics as Kelly falls to the floor and more leeches pour out of her head. Dr. Sloan looks around him in shock as the people who underwent the procedure start feeling ill and spew the leeches all over themselves and the floor. Randy and Susie scream when Debbie expels buckets of blood and worms on their faces and clothes. One cameraman spits out leeches from his mouth as a female show executive holds her ears, stopping the leeches from cascading out. Another petrified cameraman leaves his post and runs away from the carnage. Suddenly, Dr. Sloan runs to the camera and wants to cut the coverage of the bloodbath while explaining to the audience that the procedure is safe and that what's happening in the studio is not normal. Henry sees the doctor and angrily approaches him. He pushes an infected woman who falls on a producer and covers him in blood, and worms from her eye sockets and mouth. Shortly after, Sloane tries to open a side door to escape, but Henry catches up to him. The angered man accuses the doctor of knowing this would happen to his patients but still pushed through with it to make a profit. The doctor swears he didn't realize this was how the leeches would react to the magnetic waves from the solar eclipse. He also admits never knowing how the creatures reproduced. Dr. Sloan swears his team did all the necessary tests but never considered the possibility of an eclipse. He thought the leeches would feed on the fat and didn't think they would leave anything behind in the patient's bodies. Seconds later, the doctor's stomach growls and he falls to the floor while reaching out to Henry for help, but he eventually passes away. Moments later, Henry ambles toward Dr. Sloan's body, but then the doctor's stomach bursts, spraying blood everywhere. He slips on the blood and guts on the floor and loses his glasses. While Henry searches for his glasses, he doesn't see the tentacled leech monster growing out of the doctor's stomach. Suddenly, the creature grabs Henry's leg with one of its tentacles and drags him closer to its gaping mouth filled with razor-sharp teeth. He manages to escape the creature's grasp when he desperately holds onto a vending machine by the wall. Henry picks himself up off the floor and uses all his strength to tip the vending machine over the monster, flattening and exterminating it. Afterward, he picks up a candy bar on the floor, takes a bite, and smiles smugly back at the doctor's body. Subscribe to watch more videos like this. Turn on notifications. And leave a like it really helps the channel out. Thank you for watching.